Hello and welcome back to the Joyful Soul Creates. Charlotte here and today I'm participating in another blog hop. This is the Stockings Were Hung blog hop. And as you can imagine, this is all about projects inspired by Christmas stockings. So I'm using a dye that I've had for a little while now but not got around to using yet, which is the Creative Expressions Sue Wilson Festive Collection 3D Fireplace Die Set, which is quite a mouthful. But as I said, this is the first time I've used this die set. So I started by just cutting the fireplace, the clock, and also the stocking from some snippets of white card. And I cut this stocking five times so that I would have five of them. And then I'm going to ink blend them. I'm using Alter New inks for the stockings and I have Forest Glades, which is the green, and Ruby Red for the red stockings. And I did mask off so that the stockings would all have white edging. Then I'll ink blend the fire portion of the fireplace. So I'm using tea dye distress ink for the base fit and I'll use that same tea dye to add some soft colour to my fireplace to the bricks. I did mask off here as well because I didn't want to add ink on all of the areas although you could do it if you want. You could also just cut this from coloured cardstock that would be quicker and um, this card did take quite a while with all the ink blending involved and coloured cardstock would definitely speed that up if you felt like doing that. You could also colour it with alcohol markers or paint it with watercolour paints for example if you wanted. For the flames of the fire I used squeezed lemonade and wild honey distress oxides and also a little spice marmalade distress ink. And here you can see all the finished ink blended pieces and I'll just at this stage fold and crease all the folds on that fireplace. I don't adhere it together at this point but I think I when I eventually do adhere it together I do that off camera. I just use some double sided tape to adhere the bottom piece together and it did take me a little moment of of thinking to work out which way all the pieces fold but it's not too difficult to do. Whilst I'm folding that I'll just quickly tell a little bit about the blog hop. All the details will be over on my blog which is linked down below but there are three prizes available and to be eligible to win the prizes all you need to do is hop along to each stop, become a follower of the blogs and leave a comment letting everyone know what you like best about our projects. You will have until 10pm on Sunday but all the details will be on my blog and the Connie Can Crop blog Connie is hosting the hop so you can check it out over there. After I've finished assembling the fireplace I started working on the background of my card and there's some more ink blending here. I masked off an area that would be the portion shown through the back of the fireplace and I'm using again the wild honey and squeezed lemonade distress oxides to create a fiery glow for the inside of my fireplace and I've just used some repositionable tape to mask these areas off so that I make sure the glow is confined to where I need it to be. Once I am happy with the glow I will remove the edge most masks but I'm going to leave the bottom one in place and I'll actually move the edge masks to cover that yellow bit that I just ink blended and then I'm going to create my back background. For my background I'm using a stencil from Skull and Crossbuns and this is the brick pattern large stencil and here again I'm using the tea dye distress ink. I try to be quite consistent in my colours and not bring too many colours and make it overwhelming. So this is the same colour I use on the fireplace, the base of the fire and also the clock. I decided I would leave the ground of my image white and uncolored um, but I felt like I needed something to divide the blended area and the plain area so I'm using a matte copper peeler from Love from Lizzie and adding that along the dividing area and I decided to add another piece of that peel off along the edge of my fireplace and then when I put the card together I will line those up. For my sentiment I took one from Lawn Fawn's Merry Messages and stamped it with the Wild Honey ink with the help of my Misty to make sure it was completely straight and exactly where I wanted it and that it would stamp nicely. Then I'm going to use Tombow Mono Malta liquid glue to adhere the fireplace into place. This liquid glue just lets me make sure I have a little bit of wiggle room to get it properly into place. I did put a little foam tape on the back of the fire itself just because I wanted it to be nice and stable. I didn't put the glue on the top portion of the fireplace straight away. I thought it would be easiest if I did the bottom first and then went in and did the top and as this fireplace is bendable it worked well enough to do that. So I added some more glue there and stuck the top down. 
and I'll just run my bone folder along the inside to completely press that down. Then the last element to add is the clock and I'll again use Tombow Monomalty liquid glue for this and my reverse tweezers and I use the lines of my craft mat to help me make sure I have that lined up centrally and that will complete my stocking card. As I said all the details for the hop are linked down below and you can check them out over on my blog. There is a full hop list as well as pictures of the prizes so you can see what's up for grabs. If you enjoyed this video I hope you will press the like button but if you didn't you can also press the dislike button which is right next to it. I'd love to hear from you in the comments what you think of this card. Have you made 3D element cards before? I tend to make quite flat cards as I like clean and simple designs so that was a, this was a bit different for me. The subscribe button is on screen if you'd like to subscribe and never miss a video and there are a couple of other videos on screen that you may enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!